brothers and sisters, first thing on the agenda, um, I would like to uh, get any member from Local 21 to come up to the stage so that we recognize the young members from Local 21. <laughs> Construction 
and the other one was the uh, third super Walmart of uh, Dallas County was being built. And the same thing happened there, so we have these two big new construction projects going on, and then everybody in our community is unemployed. Uh, you know, I got a problem. I had a problem with when hench handshakes were made and, and promises were made, and uh, they paint themselves as something they're not. Um, you know, they went as far as to uh, not only take these right to work state people in from all over the center of the United States here and down south, but uh, they also brought in people from out of this country, you know, to work uh, on a continuous pour of this concrete uh, for several months on their point of concrete for the silos and the buildings of these buildings. And when they were done, they were gone. So, um, we, you know, tried to negotiate with them. They really didn't, I don't think they ever had an intention to employ us. It was all against share. Um, through our struggle with trying to uh, fight this corporate giant, you know, we have uh, what we always see, and that's uh, government and police actions um, doing their bidding for them, you know, backing them up with everything they do. I look around and I didn't know much about uh, the internet, to be honest with you, until this struggle started a couple years ago. And then I, uh, with the help of my five-year-old and my 12-year-old, I learned a little bit about computers and, and how to get on, turn it on. And so ever since that day, I've been uh, researching, and I've been looking into uh, issues in this country, and I see the struggle that everyone's going through. I see the shipment of jobs overseas. I see the money being evaporated from this country, from the working class. I see a movement around this country that are, have had enough, and they're standing up. I know that if we don't stand up and fight for what we believe in in this country, it'll be too late. As a matter of fact, now that I do know a little bit more about it, I don't like politics. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm here to talk to you, man, or man, man, or woman, man, or child, whoever will listen. I know it's a struggle and it takes a voice of people and of some form of action to get any kind of response from these people. We try everything we can, we're working um, every angle we can. Uh, many of my fellow colleagues are working, I mean, day and night. I mean, we are doing everything we can. It just appears that between um, big business and uh, the, political action, the political aspect of this country has been bought off, and uh, we don't have any rights left. You know, all the laws have been changed for the big, the rich, and the powerful. And uh, I don't think they care much about us. So, uh, you know, we've had uh, uh, over 100 of my fellow members that I work with, you know, on over 200 and some odd charges arrested by the police. We've had uh, police going out of their way to take extraordinary measures to try to intimidate us and arrest us in front of our children, our wives at our homes with machine guns. And we're talking about charges. A lot of them are just uh, misdemeanor. Uh, trespassing tickets or something that could be sent to the ballot, which they have been since uh, things have changed in that aspect. But uh, I, I didn't realize how extreme uh, the, the forces were against the working people until this moment got started. And then after watching the things I see on videos and a few occasions I've made a trip to the big city because we live in a small town. Um, the brutality and uh, the absolute, absolute despicable forces, you know, that, uh, the corruption against us as people. I, uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm not speaking. I start getting a little emotional. It's not out of uh, <laughs> Respond and immediately react. I'm enraged. 
So, uh, you know, we've been fighting things uh, every, every way we can, and um, I know we've had assistance from outside enemies. I know we're just, we're all working people, we're all citizens of this country, and we all see the same injustice. And uh, I know for me, when people stand by me, I'll stand by you. Thank you. 